हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डी सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वेजेस गाइस यू कैन आल्सो लुक इनटू माय सेकंड चैनल आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज द सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विद द इंक्लाइंड लोड ऑफ सिक्स किलो न्यूटन हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम व्हेन देयर इज द इंक्लाइंड लोड एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम सो देयर इज अ वेरी सिंपल एंड इजी मेथड जस्ट फॉलो माय वे हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस इंक्लाइंड लोड ऑन द बीम सो when there is when there is an inclined load acting on the beam so keep in mind if this is for example if force so there is always two components of this force if this force is acting at an angle of q so this force is two components one is called the horizontal component if x and one is the vertical component of this force which will be fy so if y will be equal to the f sin of theta keep in mind and if x will be equal to the if cost of theta where theta is this angle on which this force makes with the horizontal axis so now in our similar case we have here a load of 6 kN inclined at an angle of 50 degree and there is a distance of 2 meter from the lift support and 5 meter from the rotor support or from the right support so if we call this for example this is a a support and this is b support so now how to analyze this kind of beam so first to remove this thing so now we can start with analyzing so 6 kN is the load acting so this is 6 kN and this makes an angle of theta q with the horizontal axis so now the horizontal component of the load is i described before is this will be f cos of theta so f is 6 kN in this case so it means 6 multiply with the cos of theta where theta in our case is 50 degree here is 50 degree so we got this component the horizontal component of the load which is equal to the 3.85 kN where the vertical component is equal to the 6 sin of theta or 6 sin of 50 degree because 50 degree is angle and this comes out to be when we calculate this it comes out to be 4.59 kN so now what does this mean it means that my horizontal load acting on this beam here this component of the inclined load is 3.85 kN you see here we find out this in the vertical component here this component of my load is 4.59 kN so this is my vertical component now how for to find the support reaction it's now simple we know that there are two loads acting on the beam one is horizontal and one is vertical so simply we will take the summation of moment at any point equal to 0 and let's suppose we take the moment at point b equal to 0 so moment at b equal to 0 And let's suppose clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. So the forces that creates the moment in the clockwise direction will be taken as positive. You will see here. So if we take the moment at point B equal to zero, so let's suppose taking all the forces acting, producing moment at point B. So one is here A. So the reaction will be R A, the vertical R A Y. Is this a hinge support? This is a hinge support. So it can also take the horizontal axis. horizontal load r a x so let me remove these all things here from this side because we already find out the vertical and horizontal component of the load so now we don't need these things here so now we find out r a y we have to find out r a y and r a x So summation of moment at point B equal to zero. Now all the moments at point B that producing moments are the first one is R A Y. So R A Y. So we know that the moment is equal to the force into moment arm. Now force is R A Y, and moment arm is the distance between the load and the point where you want to find the moment. So moment arm in this case is the whole distance from this point up to this point, which is point B. to the load which is 2 meter plus 5 meter which is 7 meter so this creates a moment in the clockwise direction around point b now this load 
which is 4.5 kilonewton ejecting vertically this will create the moment about point B in the anticlockwise direction and anticlockwise is negative and the clockwise is positive so it will be anticlockwise so it will be negative 4.59 kilonewton multiplied with the moment term because moment is equal to the force into moment arm so it comes out to be the moment arm is this distance 5 meter from the point B equal to 0 because this load you can see here 3.85 kilonewton and Rx are acting throughout the point B and there is no moment arm so that's why they are not producing any kind of moment so that's why they are not going to create any moment and we are not taking this into any kind of calculation because we are calculating the moment about point B equal to 0 and they are not creating any kind of moments to simplify this we get 7 R A Y will be equal to the if we shift this into the right side we got around 22.95 now R A Y comes out to be if we divide this by 7 so we got here 3.27 kilonewton so this is the this is the support reaction here provided 3.27 now how to find out the another reaction I mean this one this is also producing vertical reaction R Y RBY so how to find RBY simply we can take the summation of vertical forces equal to 0 at any point and upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative so the upward force are RA Y plus RBY this is also acting in positive direction upward direction minus this force is acting in downward direction only the vertical force is 4.59 equal to 0 so summation of all the forces is equal to 0 now r a y is known to us so we will put this value here and we will shift this value into the right side this value and also this value we will get r b y equal to the if we shift this value into the right side it will become positive minus r a y and r a y is 3.2 so we come out to be so now with this we come out to be one point 311 kilonewton. So here RBY is 1.311 kilonewton. So this is the way how to find out the vertical reaction RAY and RBY. Now how we can find this horizontal reaction? Keep in mind this is a rural support, that's why it cannot take any horizontal load because it can only take the vertical load. This is the property of the rural support. Now this is a hinge support, so it can take only horizontal load and we know that the horizontal load acting on this beam is 3.85 kilonewton so the whole load will be transferred only to this support so the horizontal component RAX will be directly equal to the 3.85 kilonewton without doing any kind of calculation because there is no other support that can take this load so the whole load will be transferred only to the support A because it is a hinge support so this was all about to find out the support reaction for the inclined load. I hope you guys understand and don't, forget, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also you can find my second channel in the description given. In the description you can find the link for my second channel. I will be thankful if you go there and watch my videos. Thank you for watching my videos and good luck with your learnings.